There is no way in the world that Hashem will want you to be sad. It's not an option. And you're asking yourself, but Hashem is doing everything and I'm sad, so it means that Hashem Ibarach, He made me sad. So I explained that thing once in a class, that a father, a parent, he can punish his child. And you cannot say that it was not the parent that punished his child. It was him. But you can also not, you cannot say that he wanted to do that. He did it, and he forced himself to do it, like that Abraham Avinu forced himself and prepared himself to be ready to slaughter Yitzchak. And it's written, that he forced his hand, he sent his hand to grab the knife, to he had to force himself to do that, he couldn't do it. He didn't want to do that. But because he realized that he was commanded to, so he forced himself to do against his natural will. So Hashem Barach, the Father of Mercy, he himself, he never ever in the world not exist. He never wants you to be upset. He never wants you to be sad. It's not an option. When you cry, he cries. When you scream, he screams. When they're in sorrow, he's in sorrow with them. And his sorrow is greater than our sorrow. Like a little child, he doesn't learn. So, okay, he doesn't succeed so much in school. But his mother, she's all worried what will be with him. She's suffering much more than him because he, okay, so four hours, five hours a day, he's got some hard time with his teacher, but he distracts his thoughts and he's running with his friends and then everything is great. But also, with people that are not married, so okay, I'm not married, and he can be even sad and upset, but you know, he's, he's flowing with life. His 60 years old mother sitting in her room and crying and finishing the Tehillim over and over again and again. And why? Because she feels the sorrow in a deeper way. And that's the Creator. Always when I'm comparing the Creator to parents, I'm, I mean, like, normal parents, not, not like what we can find today. Like parent in, in the real concept of parents, not like what that we have today that we're going through hell with our parents. I'm talking about like the parents should be loving and supporting and caring and, and, and with all of their heart. Today our parents, they need someone to take care of them. They need, they need, they need love, they need compassion, they, they themselves are struggling in life and they cannot really give the, the, what that we need, what that we're so thirsty to receive from them. So bottom line, Hashem Barach, He is looking at us and He is full with compassion, full with love. But He must force Himself to bring us to certain places because He wants to educate us. And Hashem Barach is doing it because there is a truth, and that truth must be said. Those are all of the negative things that have been said on us as a nation, and all of the judges and judgments and, 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 and criticism that have been said on every individual, on every person. If he's doing something wrong, you cannot ignore it. You cannot ignore a sin person is not allowed to go into sin and that's it, Hashem won't do anything. So Hashem, He took the truth, He listened to her words, but then He threw it down to the ground. What's the meaning of, of throwing the truth down to the ground? The result of that is that the truth will grow up again from the bottom, from the ground. So actually the truth will see and will understand the real intention, the real meaning of Hashem Barach, of the Creator Himself. That His intention, that His will is even deeper and much more full with kindness and, and love, unconditional love, to heal us. It's true that we're liars, like that Midat Ahmed said. But I want to teach them how to be honest people that are saying the truth. That's the real truth. That's the truth of Hashem. So it's true that you're far. It's true that you're not praying like you should. It's true that you're not holy. It's true that you're wasting your time. It's all true. But there is a higher truth than that. 
and it's to guide you and to teach you and to give you a hand and to help you to build yourself and the beginning is that you're going to give yourself that hand that you will support yourself, that you will back up yourself, that you will hug yourself, that you will accept yourself, that you will understand that you don't have the ability to be someone else and to change yourself in a second. Without the help of the Creator, you cannot defeat the evil inclination. <laughs>